So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute, man. Listen, man, when you're a sushi connoisseur such as myself and like to try sometimes different things, videos like this is very, very, very important, fam. I'm not, they're very, they're critical, crucial. You know what I mean? And this is 15 most poisonous fish in the world, all right? So now you understand why this video is very crucial, right? Okay, cool. So we're gonna get into it. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, join the fam, moment of silence for the haters, that's enough. Now run the likes up, make sure you hit that like button. Here we go. We all know the ocean is a dangerous place, and we've True. known that since, Jaws at least. But it turns out there are some fish that are even more deadly than we ever could have imagined. And it's time we knew about them. The venomous stonefish. It sucks down its dinner with vacuum force. From the surprising truth behind Finding Nemo to a fish that requires you to pee on yourself. Here are the 15 most poisonous fish in the world. Number 15, clownfish. <laughs> Guessing that jellyfish is in because it has fish in its name, even though it's not. Anyway, never mind. Here's the thing about Finding Nemo. At no point in the movie is it specified that both Nemo and Marlin are poisonous. That'd really paint the story in a different light, right? I can't imagine anybody wanting to find Nemo after discovering that. Technically speaking, the clownfish itself is not poisonous, but they may as well be. <laughs> The clownfish's whole appearance is actually designed to be a warning to any potential predator that dare attempt to infringe on their home. A poisonous sea anemone that kills anything that it touches. Except for clownfish, that is. Thanks to the wonder of nature, clownfish seem to be immune to the fatal effects of an enemy. With their bright orange and black and white striped body, these fish use their bodies to warn those predators about the likelihood of death. If a human were to go near the anemone, there's a strong likelihood that the clownfish would actually bite you just to keep you away. Or they may head inside the anemone as a kind of challenge to that brave human. In summary, the clownfish is far from the friendly and wisecracking fish we've come to know and love. They're intelligent and capable of surviving a poison that would, and does, kill any other species. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Fox Jellyfish. Everyone knows what you do when you get stung by a jellyfish, right? Okay, good. So that's one less gross thing I have to go through today. The box jellyfish is, like most fish, a pretty unpleasant thing to experience on a bad day. Especially if you've already peed. The box jellyfish is named after its unusual body shape, but the poison comes entirely from its deadly tentacles, which are covered with tiny poison-loaded darts known as nematocysts. If a living thing is unfortunate enough to encounter and get stung by one of these animals, the poison is capable of causing paralysis, cardiac arrest, or even death. And all three of those things happen in the space of minutes. And they wonder why I don't want to go anywhere near the ocean, despite all of the horror that I just described. It's actually not that apocalyptic. There are over 50 different species of box jellyfish, and only a handful have venom capable of killing humans. So that's something, right? Despite the low likelihood of the box jellyfish killing you, it's still not the kind of animal you should be seeking out. But chances are you knew that already. There are very few people who would want to be peed on following a jellyfish attack. Number 13, Spotted Trunkfish. Ooh. It may have a pretty goofy name, but the spotted trunkfish is capable of some significant harm. And by significant harm, we obviously mean death. There's certain fish you can look at and just be like, that one there, I'm not going nowhere near that fish. This is one of them. <laughs> 
Is yeah. there any kind of harm more significant than that? While the spotted trunkfish never grow beyond 12 inches in length, their body is coated with a bony outer surface featuring two sharp spines. This body armor serves to protect the fish against predators. But the true toxicity and protection comes from its skin. Mm. When the spotted trunkfish is touched, the glands on its skin release a colorless toxin that is dangerous if ingested. That means divers are generally pretty safe. But any animal that dares to try and eat the fish, such as nurse sharks, will most likely die soon after enjoying what I hope was an excellent final meal. And since the spotted trunkfish isn't a particularly good swimmer, it's a popular choice among sharks and predators looking for an easy meal. Which, of course, means a whole lot of dead sharks out there in the ocean. The spotted trunkfish is thankfully not a fish that will kill unsuspecting divers, but it's definitely not the kind of creature to be messed with. Consider this a warning to all the nurse sharks watching. Number 12. Pufferfish Anyone that has ever seen a single episode of Spongebob Squarepants will be familiar with the pufferfish. A pretty unpredictable and incredibly dangerous fish and I think that's the first uh, we've seen the puffer fish on some of the videos we checked out before but that's the first time I think I've heard it make that noise though <laughs> what makes it now even more dangerous to me a pretty unpredictable and incredibly dangerous fish and apparently a dubious driving instructor in Bikini Bottom. The pufferfish is probably most well known for its ability to inflate itself into a ball to evade or threaten predators. By inhaling water, they're able to expand their elastic stomachs to several times their usual size, making them incredibly tricky targets for smaller predators. And that's before we come to the topic of spines. Some pufferfish have spines lining their skin to put off these opportunistic predators. So we're now dealing with a pufferfish that can inflate itself several times bigger than usual, has spines on its skin, and what else? Oh, right. It's incredibly poisonous. Incredibly. There is enough poison in a single pufferfish to kill up to 30 humans. And if you're unfortunate enough to fall victim to that toxic poison, there is no antidote. Just bad luck. The pufferfish is, by far, one of the most dangerous fish you could hope to find in the world. And one that is capable of killing, well, anything that happens to ingest it. That's why I don't see how people can, can eat it. Like, why even chant something that can kill 30 humans, bro? Like, I get living on the edge, but that's, that's over the edge. Number 11, lionfish. If you need us to tell you to stay away from poisonous fish, it may well be too late for you. But on the off chance that oh, some yeah. of you may still be open to the idea of avoiding death by poison, let's talk about the lionfish. The fish gets agitated, those spines come through, the fleshy sheaths, and then the venom is exposed. It's difficult mm. to even try and define the lionfish as a species. Typically, they grow up to... 19 inches and weigh up to three pounds, but actually the lionfish can be bigger and heavier or even smaller and lighter than that. So while the size of the fish seems to change from one species to another, there are some traits that do not. The lionfish is a venomous fish, one that releases its poison through its needle sharp fins. When injected into the bloodstream, this venom can be extremely painful, but is generally harmless when drunk or eaten. It's also apparently harmless to health the human beings, although there are some that can have extreme allergic reactions to the venom. In that case, you may not make it. While most humans that encounter the lionfish will live to tell the tale, the venom will cause an immense amount of pain. But what is life without an immense amount of pain anyway, right? Number 10. Yellow Boxfish Anyone that remembers the BP oil spill of 2010 will recall the horrific damage that comes when the water is poisoned by an unfamiliar chemical. What they likely won't know is that even fish themselves are capable of poisoning the water. The yellow box jellyfish is not the most poisonous fish by any means, but they are definitely one of the most damaging. 
These fish use a toxin named ostracytoxin, or pahotoxin, to defend themselves. But there's a catch. Unlike many animals, the yellow boxfish isn't so good at releasing this toxin strategically. In fact, it seems like any time this animal gets stressed or feels threatened, the poison just floods out into the water. And what happens then? Exactly what happened with the BP oil spill. A lot of dead animals. As the toxin pollutes the water, any animal that happens to be in the area at the time ingest it and quickly find their red blood cells being destroyed. I think you can figure what happens after that. While the yellow box... Hey, you definitely want to stay on his good side. You don't want him to feel nervous, anxious, or nothing. Fish may not be the most poisonous fish on the planet. Planet. This fish need therapy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It straight up need therapy. It's capable of causing a lot of damage to many innocent or at least Ugh. unsuspecting sea creatures. Number nine, giant moray. There are some animals that deliver a more painful attack than others. Studies have shown that a single bite from a moray eel is more painful than bites by other fish of the same size. The reason for that? Well, it's more complicated than they bite harder. They bite with enormous force, and almost anything is fair game. While some will speculate that the instinct of pulling away the bitten limb will be the thing causing the problem, this is apparently not the case. Neither is the theory of infection. While infection will make the problem worse, that's not the root cause of the pain. As far as we know, the cause of the pain comes from the toxins within the eel's mouth. Mm. Thanks to a scientific study that saw scientists analyzing the eel's mucus, the results confirmed that several toxic substances were present, including some that destroy red blood cells entirely. Unless you're a fan of bleeding profusely, the giant moray is just another example of a sea creature you should avoid at all costs. Experts are still not entirely sure what toxins the mucus is made up of, so it's hard to say just how dangerous an encounter could be. Number 8. Scorpion Fish if you've been around our channel long, you'll know that we like hybrid stuff. So take a donkey, you mix it with a helicopter, and hey, you have a donkey copter. Or something. Bad example. Anyway, the scorpion fish is kind of a hybrid. Let's talk about that. There are over 200 known species of scorpion fish in our planet's oceans. <sighs> A baffling number for those of you that had never heard of the thing. As the name would suggest, the scorpion fish is an intriguing mix of traits, belonging to both. Bro, I didn't even see him. I hadn't even located him on the screen yet when it jumped to this next scene. Yo, he is fast. Fish and scorpions, including, you guessed it, Poison. Scorpion fish are blessed with spines that contain a deadly venom, which immediately injects into the bloodstream the moment contact is made. He got Bruce Lee speed, fam. <laughs> Studies have shown that a single sting from one of these spines can prove fatal to unsuspecting animals. Though, thankfully, it's just painful for humans. The scorpion fish tends to linger around the rocks near the sea floor, so it's highly unlikely you'll stumble upon one while on a trip to the beach. But if you'd rather avoid any chance of getting a mildly painful poison injected, stay home. Who wants to go to the beach anyway? There are people there. Number seven, weaver fish. If you've been avoiding the water ever since you saw Jaws, prepare to start avoiding the sand too. The weaver fish is the stuff of nightmares, to put it bluntly. Even those that know what to look out for may end up getting a shock. The weaver fish is a mm. small, sand-colored fish that buries itself amongst the sand. Yeah, there's probably loads of starfish in here, but they all making them almost invisible to the human eye. So when a happy suburban father takes his barefoot stroll along the beach, be prepared. When an exposed human foot lands on one of these hidden fish, their dorsal fins embed itself into the offending foot and begins injecting venom. Thankfully, this venom is not fatal, but it does create some excruciating pain that will make you wonder why you ever thought coming to the beach was a good idea. While it oh, it's just like, these, these these uh fish videos, man, and different things have completely ruined the beach for me, bro. And to think how reckless I was. I used to be one of the people that 
try to see how far out I could go. You know what I'm saying? See what I could see underwater. Try to go down as far as, like, no, no. I was reckless. You feel me? Super reckless. Man, I, it could have been bad for me. It's impossible for anybody to guarantee you won't suffer this pain. There are two things you can do to avoid it. Wear shoes or drag your feet along the sand. By dragging your feet, the sand is disrupted and the fish are scared away. If you're lazy, just take the venom. The weaver fish is a creature that I doubt many have heard of. A poisonous camouflaged nightmare in waiting. Jaws told you to stay out of the water, but the weaver fish is now telling you to keep off the sand. Number six, mm. Stingray. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows about the dangers of the Stingray. Or at least they know that stingrays can prove fatal in the right circumstances. But that's only in extreme cases. Strangely enough, stingrays are not always aggressive, but they are always poisonous. While the shape of a stingray is just naturally beautiful and elegant, all of its power comes from that long, whip-like tail. At the end of this tail sits a few barbed spines, each one containing a dose of venom. When that tail stabs you, the toxin is released into the bloodstream. The pain is excruciating, and if you happen to get stabbed in your heart, fatal. However, despite this obvious capability to inflict significant harm on living things, the stingray is often gentle and peaceful, and typically only stings if it's being disturbed or stepped on by unsuspecting swimmers. So the good news is that your chances of death by a stingray are surprisingly slim. If I'm getting in there, I need a bullet proof vest. I need something that's gonna block all of this right up in here, fam. I need to protect my, like, put me on a vest, bulletproof vest and stuff, fam. I don't need nothing trying to stab me here. Unlike many fish, the stingray's poisonous streak is pretty well known all around the world, which explains why so few people actively seek them out. They may be beautiful animals, but it's not something you'd want to find on a beach. Number five, surgeon fish. It would be pretty awesome if these fish were able to inject poison into you and then perform surgery. Well, no, actually, that wouldn't be awesome. What am I saying? That would be horrific, but it would be... You know what? I've scared myself. Let's move on. The surgeon fish, or tang, is any one of 75 species of small, thin tropical marine fish from the family Acanthuridae. Their name doesn't come from their surgeon-like injective poison, but from their body, coated with distinctive sharp spines on either side of the tail. These venomous spines resemble a surgeon's scalpel, and, like a surgeon's scalpel, they can cause some pretty deep and painful cuts. The surgeon fish is famously aggressive and has been reported time and time again to have severely hurt the fishermen that encounter it. But it gets worse, if you can believe that. The surgeon fish is edible, but it comes with a cost. Eating this fish brings with it a special kind of food poisoning known Ooh. as ciguatera, which causes numbness in the face, discomfort, itching, as well as increased hypotension and a slowed heartbeat. So overall, a complicated meal. The surgeon fish is rightly considered to be one of the most dangerous fish in the ocean, mm. especially if a brave individual decides to eat it. Number four, flower urchin. In some countries and cuisines, sea urchin is considered to be a delicacy and has been referred to as the ocean's foie gras. That's very much not the case with the flower urchin, one of the most toxic sea urchins you could hope to find. The Guinness Book of World Records has named the flower urchin the single most dangerous urchin in the world. Wow. Native to the Indo-West Pacific region of the planet, this sea urchin is loaded with venom. This venom contains two deadly toxins, contractin A, which can cause the clumping of red blood cells oh. as well as spasms, and pedotoxin, which can cause convulsions, anaphylactic shock, and even death. So this should not be considered a delicacy of any kind unless you find 
death particularly intriguing. The flower urchin, like many sea urchins, injects its venom into predators using its sharp spines, and multiple punctures is enough to kill even the most durable living creature. When the Guinness Book of World Records tells you this thing is the most dangerous urchin in the world, that's a warning to heat. An encounter Thanks. with this thing could quickly leave you paralyzed. If not, well, an exhuman. Number three, Conus. They may be adorable, they may be cute, they may seem harmless, but sea snails are just as deadly as any other poisonous fish. In fact, these may well be some of the most deadly snails anywhere in the world. These predatory sea snails are named conus on account of their colorful and unique cone-shaped eyes, and can usually be found in the tropical seas around the world. All of that basic information aside, we should probably get this out of the way up front. There is not a single species of conus that is not poisonous. Unlike mm. most toxic fish, which tend to hold their venom in spikes along their body, the conus is a little more creative. This snail uses a modified radula tooth and a venom gland to attack their prey, a kind of harpoon-type device that paralyzes its targets almost immediately. The venom itself can vary in severity from species to species, with smaller conus poison being no worse than a bee sting and larger species proving fatal to humans. There have only been 15 recorded human deaths as a result of conus stings, but that's still a surprisingly high number for such a little-known creature. Right. Experts have frequently advised humans to never pick up one of these animals. And honestly, good advice. Number two, blue ringed octopus. Oh, yeah. As we've said multiple times on this channel, mm -hmm. octopi are an interesting. Just leave him alone. Yeah, I mean, just leave him alone. Bunch. Some of them can be curious, friendly creatures that are content to sing and dance with the wiggles. Others are, to use non sweary language, unpleasant. <laughs> The blue ring dock. Certain things, when you see them coming, you just go the other way. This is one. Octopus is the only known octopus that is poisonous to humans, and it's also one of the most aggressive species of octopus on the planet. This single species is capable of killing 26 adults in minutes, which is insane, especially considering that the injection process is almost unnoticeable for its victim. Wow. The blue ringed octopus has two kinds of venom. One kills its prey, and the other is used as a defense mechanism. When the octopus feels it's being attacked or provoked, it injects its killing venom through the use of a reasonably painless bite that produces two small puncture wounds. Within seconds, that poison is coursing through your blood, and it's nighty-night for the victim. While most octopi are comfortable keeping their distance from other species, the blue-ringed octopus does no such thing. This is an animal that is more than willing to fight at all costs, and more often than not, it wins. It won all all the smoke, you hear me? <laughs> they ain't running from back and down from nothing. Number one, the Xanthidae family. As far as seafood goes, crab is easily one of the most popular meats in the world. Although it goes without saying that not all crabs are safe to ingest. And the majority of these toxic crabs belong to one family, the Xanthidae. Zanthidae crabs are most common in Australia and are easily identified by their black-tipped claws. However, these crabs are considered to be some of the most dangerous and toxic crabs anywhere in the world, with many of species in the family found to be the bearer of poisonous substances. To break that down, the muscles and egg masses of xanthid crabs have been found to hold two of the most lethal natural substances known to man, saxitoxin and pterodoxin. If an average-sized human were to ingest even half of a milligram of either, they'd be dead pretty quickly. And for the enthusiastic cooks among us, no, the high temperatures from cooking the meat does not seem to have any effect on reducing the toxicity. It may taste better, but you'll still be dead. Thankfully for us foodies, there are many, many more edible species of crab out in the world, so we can rest easy knowing that we're not missing out on much, except for an early death and maybe some garlic sauce. Would you risk? That's why I stick to the Alaskan king crab. That's my that's my safe space, you know what I mean? Alaskan king. I don't know how much they cost now, though, with, with inflation and everything, it, with it is. 
They probably cost way more than they cost a couple of years, a year or so ago. I ain't had them in a long time, but either way, man. Listen, I know everything on here wasn't a fish, but still, it's still good to know what to stay away from, what not to bother. You know what I mean? What what to avoid and uh, and to be careful. You know, videos like this can save your life. I can't stress that enough, you know, especially when our curiosity gets the best of us. So, y'all yeah, get at me in the comment section, man. Let me know what you thought of this video and stick around and stay tuned to the next one. I'm gone. Peace.